Here's an example of basement framing that is requiring a load-bearing wall down the center to hold up these eye joists. Depending on the size of this eye joist and the requirements, there's a certain distance that can go on its length. It's a full member, but some of them will require a load-bearing wall. And again, it depends on the size of the actual joist. Now here we have a beam. So this is one indication right here that it is load bearing. We also have double top plate and header above the door opening back there. When you look down the center here, there should be a footing for this load bearing wall. We have this crack that's going down this line and it's following it. Listen to this, that's pretty dense. That's dense, hollow, right on down. And then right down this way, as it follows to the sump pit. That is really hollow. That's, that's dense. Hollow, hollow. The closer I get to that pit, and down in here, that footing tile is coming in right here at this edge. It's an odd location to bring it down the center. Usually you would have them around the outskirt areas on the outside next to the footing. But inside here, see, there's that footing it's underneath that wall, and it starts to get hollow. Inside the slab area, there's another crack here, and it's really hollow. See, that's dense, because it's hitting the footing below the foundation. Hollow, see, hollow right there. It's about 20 years old. It takes a while for the compacting of the soil. I believe that this is missing a footing or the wall wasn't placed in the right location. Thanks for watching the video.